Hi guys, it's Geekonomics here and today I'd like to show you how to uh, derive a demand curve from the budget line. So in previous videos we've looked at changes in income and changes in price and inferior goods and so on and so forth but th this time we're looking at how to derive a demand curve from budget lines and indifference curve diagrams. So I've got two diagrams here as you can see, one beneath the other and here we have our, the usual suspects in terms of cola and apples just to stick with the theme in the OCR textbook and you can see clearly that there has been a reduction in the price of apples because the, uh, the budget lines are pivoting around this point to indicate that cola maximum potential consumption remains constant However, we can consume more apples and a low income hasn't changed. That must be because the price of apples in this case have fallen. So we've gone from IC1 and difference curve 1 at this point to IC2 and difference curve 2. So if we wanted to derive a demand curve for apples, so using this diagram, the way it's set up, we would only be deriving the demand curve for apples, um, we could assume a couple of things and hence draw a demand curve for apples. So I'm assuming that at this point here, the initial equilibrium point here, I'm assuming that the price of apples is somewhere where X marks the spot. So the price of apples is about here. So a relatively high price. And obviously given that that's also a quantity of apples, we can take this dash line down and so that would be the quantity of apples. So you'd have P and Q. We then know that the price of apples falls. How do we know that? Because the budget line pivots around this point and it pivots to the right. So the budget line uh, pivots, the consumption point moves to here, and consequently we're consuming this amount of apples. So all I need to do is to do two things. Number one, show that the price of apples has fallen. So I've shown it by moving the x from here to here and then show the quantity of apples being consumed. Well, I know the quantity being consumed from this diagram is at this point, so I'll just take that dashed line down, and that's the quantity consumed or demanded. And obviously, to finish that diagram off nicely, all would be necessary would be to join those points together, come so, and there, ladies and gentlemen, we would have a demand curve for apples derived from budget lines and indifference curves. Simple as that. Okay, stay tuned. See you next time. Bye for now.